This morning, a mysterious sticky goo is killing hundreds of birds along a northern California shore. Scientists have ruled out petroleum, fish, and vegetable oil as the culprit. John Blackstone shows us how the price tag to save these birds is rising fast. Along the eastern shore of San Francisco Bay, rescuers have found hundreds of seabirds coated in the mysterious sticky goo. They know it's not the usual suspect, an oil spill, but it's still dangerous. This is a true mystery. It has the consistency and the feel of, of rubber cement. It sticks to feathers, ruining the bird's ability to stay warm, causing hypothermia. More than 200 birds have been found dead. More than 300 others are being treated by volunteers at the wildlife organization International Bird Rescue. It has a long history of saving birds caught in oil spills, but this is different. This is more difficult to get off than oil. It is. We have um, helped to manage oil spill events and other uh, emergency events around the world, but this is a very difficult product. The usual treatment for cleaning up oil-covered birds is Dawn dishwashing detergent. But the sticky substance on these birds needs more. We're having to soften it, if you will, with um, first baking soda um, into the feathers and then taking that off with some household vinegar. Baking soda, vinegar. And Dawn. <laughs> and toothbrushes. And toothbrushes. We do use the toothbrushes just around the eyes and the mouth and the very delicate areas. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has joined state wildlife scientists trying to figure out what the substance is. So far, no luck. Well, it's devastating, obviously, because, you know, we, we think California, it's clean, it's beautiful, we value our wildlife, we value nature. Value it so much that International Bird Rescue says it's spending about $8,000 a day cleaning the birds and nursing them back to health. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, Fairfield, California. Oh, it's nice to see that somebody's helping them. It's so sad to see people in helpless, creatures in helpless conditions.